Hello everybody, uh, today I will talk about this C safe bag here. I get many times the question why the hell I have this bag around here with some heavy tools inside. Today I will tell you why. Actually I have a lot of tools here on board but the most tools during sailing are storaged somewhere where I can't get them because I don't need them. On the other hand, these tools they are every time in this bag and this bag is storaged somewhere. You can get easily to it, everybody knows where it is and I will tell you why. First of all, if you have a big problem, I mean, you know that we're preparing our Atlantic crossing, so it's not that you're calling some help on the radio and that's it. Sometimes you have to help yourself. So, worst case, mast breaks. If the mast breaks, it doesn't mean that the mast breaks off and swims away. No, the mast breaks and is still attached to the boat and can actually damage the boat very fast. So you have to get rid of the mast. To get rid of the mast you have to cut a lot of lines, cables, whatever. So you have to have a cable cut on board. This one is up to cables to 10 millimeters. Um, it would be better to have a bigger one because the biggest cable I have here on the rigging is a 10 millimeter cable. It's actually made for it but it's pretty hard to cut one. If you have one of these just one day get old cables and try to cut them. It's made for it, but it's still hard. It's not like you open them, you go in them, and then you close them and you cut it. No, it's getting really, really, you have to be really strong also. That means the only way is to put it somewhere like this, put the cable in, and then with both hands, press it. And then, be lucky, the cable will break. So, this on the boat, when the boat is moving, the rig is in the water, is already moving around, it's pretty difficult to use. If it works perfectly, if it doesn't work, we get a second tool here just a normal saw. Uh, it's actually working very good. You can get everything. It takes a little bit more time, but it's easy to use, you know. It's small movement. Even if some stuff is moving, you use one hand to hold the stuff, the other hand to saw it, and that's it. But make sure that you have some spare uh, parts to it, because if the sawing blade is old, it will not cut anything. And the other side, new ones are cutting really good. So in this kit here, I have every time two spare of this, and it will work out. Then we have a small knife to cut off lines from the mast, ropes, whatever is attached to it. Also quickly, because sometimes you have to get rid of the mast very fast, especially if there's waves and wind and whatever. So the other uh, worst case scenario is if you hit something, what we did already with our last boat on the last attempt of crossing, so bad things happened, I can promise you. Uh, if you hit something, and in one way we've been lucky because we lost the rudder, mm, it's not nice, but you're still on the boat, what is floating, no water coming in. Uh, if you hit some container or some other stuff and you get actually a hole in the boat, then it's a different story. Because you get some water in, and if you're in the middle of the Atlantic, you have to find the leak and you have to try to close it and fix it. Because otherwise the boat will sink. Pumps and stuff, it's nice, but depends how much water is coming in. So. First of all, you have to find the place where the water is coming in. The second is you have to make sure you are able to go to this place. And in this moment, you cannot start with a screwdriver to dismount some stuff. No, no, you have to go to the places quickly. So that's why we have this axe on board to really rip off some stuff, get rid of stuff, make place, make space, and go through it. Also, this one here, it works perfectly. You can get two things very quick that's the most important thing actually go to this place try to fix the hole also to have some uh, wooden stuff prepared what you can actually screw in it with some special silicone we will have there is also another thing it's called stay afloat what you can put in between to fix some holes but so much to this bag this is all in here every time storage in a place where you can reach it where we don't have to look for it and hopefully we will never use it. Next time I will uh, show you the ditching bag, the crab bag, what is actually going with us afterwards if we have to go into a life raft to a life raft, but this one stays actually on board. Okay, thanks a lot guys, take care, bye bye.